Have you recently acquired an Xbox for your family or purchased one for a child and are worried who they can speak to or what they can spend or just seeing content that isn't age appropriate? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about Xbox Family Settings app and how you can make the Xbox experience a safer place for your loved ones. Now, drop the titles and let's begin. Hello and welcome, I'm Christian from the Expert Zone UK and I team working with Microsoft and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can control the content and purchases plus a whole lot more with Xbox Family Settings app. Xbox Family Settings app really does give you the ability to protect your loved ones online, to choose what they can spend and purchase, set screen time and even set age appropriate barriers so they do not see content they shouldn't. And the best thing is you can change these settings, approve purchases, extend screen time, all from your mobile device. You can also limit screen time to make sure homework is done. First of all, we are going to have to download Xbox Family Setting app from your local app store. It is a free app from Xbox and we need to start by creating an account or signing into an existing Microsoft account. You can also start by creating profiles directly from the Xbox you've purchased and then create a family group. The best way to do this is to create profiles for everyone that will use the Xbox and add them into a family group. Start by creating your profile first. Sign in with an existing Microsoft account or if you don't have one, you can create one directly from your Xbox. Create an account set a password and enter a recovery email. Enter your date of birth and make sure you create a passkey so no one can change settings without your permission. Then head to settings and in account select family settings and enter your passkey and select manage family member and add to family. Here you can add existing Xbox accounts or repeat the process of setting up a new member for anyone you are adding. Make sure to put the correct date of birth so it registers everyone as either an adult or a child. If you are adding a child, you will have to approve the account, which will give you access to the appropriate filters for their age group. Once you approve them being added to your family group, it allows you to select what age content they can see, to see activity reports, set screen time limits, and switch on ask to buy. You can do this directly from the web browser that opens from your email, or you can log into the Xbox Family Settings app on your mobile device with the account that you have created on your Xbox. You will also be able to see your profile and the profile of anyone else that you've added in here. It allows you to create an Xbox profile for your child. If you now continue on with the child profile on your Xbox, it will talk you through how they share data with publishers and it will make them aware of how activity is being shared with the owner of the family group. You can now on your Xbox set sign-in and security preferences for the child that you have added to the group. You have the options of no barriers, ask for PIN or lock it down. Now you can set this to whatever your preferences might be for your child, but I'm going to set this to ask for PIN. Your Xbox will now give the option once you've entered your PIN to link a controller to sign in if you want to. You can set this to your child's profile so it takes them directly into their account or you can select skip this and it will ask you which profile you'd like to join when you switch on your Xbox. If your Xbox will be used by multiple different people, I would suggest skipping this if this is the case. You also have the options to select change your Xbox home. This is where others using the Xbox can play your downloaded games without signing into your account. They can share games and downloaded content with others on the console share Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Live Gold benefits while offline. If you go back onto your Xbox Family Settings app, it allows you to select the age group of games they can see. You can select who they can communicate with, so everyone, friends only, or no one. And you can select if they can always play multiplayer. And you can change any of these settings later. In the app at the very top, you will see screen time where you can add screen time now. You can also add screen time in 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, or for the rest of the day. In screen time, we can also change schedules. So we can set how many hours per day on particular days you would like them to be able to play. So on a weekend, you might want them to play slightly longer. On weekdays, you might want to get homework done 
and set the screen time so it's a little bit shorter. If you go back to your main screen for your child, you can change age restricted content. You can do this for any age group that you would like here. This is preset to the recommended age for the date of birth that you input for your child when setting up your profile. You can also change your settings for community creations, enable Minecraft and enable multiplayer. You can also allow them to join clubs and allow gay play for things like Minecraft Dungeons. If we head back to the main screen for your child, you've also got spending limits. And here you can add money to allow the child to make purchases. You can do this in £10, £15, £25, up to £100 at a time. You also have the option to switch on Ask to Buy or switch it off. Here you can also see spending history. In the main page for your child, you can also see friends list and add and approve friend requests. If we head to the settings, we can add friends and we can change messaging filters for children, teens, adults or customise. We can again manage our online communities and it's another way of accessing things like spending and multiplayer. We can also add cross network play. So we could change this to in-game friends only, anyone or no one. I'm going to select in-game friends only. At the bottom of the main screen, you also have any notifications or any requests that your child has made for purchasing or extending screen time. If we head over to the Xbox and head to Game Pass, you will only be able to see games that are age appropriate for the profile you have selected. So anything that isn't age appropriate doesn't appear. If we go onto your Xbox profile and go to settings and family safety, we can manage family members and select your child's profile we have created. In here, we have the option to remove from this Xbox console or remove from family. But here we can also change privacy. In here, we can change age appropriate content and things like web filtering, like basic communication, turn it on or off or allow list only. If you have a game downloaded onto your Xbox that isn't age appropriate for that child, if they click onto it, and try to play it, this game will come up with, sorry, we can't show you this, and it will give them the options to ask now, send a message, or cancel. If your child selects ask now, it will show them which profile to ask, and it will ask the parents to enter a PIN, if you would like to allow them to play. Or if they select send a message, it will send a notification to Xbox Family Settings app, where you can approve it or deny it from your mobile device. They will then get a notification on the Xbox whether it's been approved or denied. In this case, as it's rated PEGI 18, I've denied the request. If they head into the Microsoft Store on the Xbox and find a game they might want to purchase, it will ask them for their PIN. Once they add their PIN, it comes up with, you need to ask an adult in your family if you can get this. We will let you know once you're good to go. They can either redeem a gift card or they can ask now or cancel the purchase. If they ask now, you will get a notification on your Xbox Family Setting app where you can approve or deny the purchase. You can also, from your Xbox Family Settings app, pause screen time, where on the Xbox it shows the message to extend screen time. You will have the options to add screen time here, send a message, or close. If you add screen time here, it will ask for the parent's pin or if they send a message, you will get a notification on the Xbox Family Setting app with the option to extend screen time, where you can approve or deny. Now we have spoken about Xbox, but if you have a Windows device like a laptop or a PC, these settings can also apply to the profiles on that device. So if you have a Windows PC and it's set up with a child's profile, you can also see this on your Xbox Family Settings app. You can also control the same limitations. So it doesn't matter if your child is playing on a laptop or an Xbox, you can have the same peace of mind of what they're saying is age appropriate. And the best bit, Xbox Family Settings is a free app. As you can see, once you've set up Xbox Family Settings app, you really can be in control of what your child does while they're playing their Xbox or their PC. And it gives you peace of mind around spending, who they're speaking to and what content they are seeing and playing. For my child, this is invaluable information that I want to see and be in control of. I hope you found this information helpful and you can use it with your newly purchased Xbox or you found it helpful if you're considering purchasing an Xbox or if you already have a Windows device. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe to Expert Zone UK and I, and hit that bell button for notifications of when we release new content like this. We cover how to's, unboxings, tricks and tips, and overviews. I'm Christian, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon for more content. Ciao.